Welcome to the ProfitBot Recoded Setup Tutorial. In this video we're going to show you some basics of the ProfitBot GUI. In further videos we will show you exactly how to set it up for a Venomancer. Alright, we've actually downloaded the bot, unzipped it, executed the ProfitBot executable, and this is what it should look like. It does not look like this and none of the values are filled in. You're probably not on P Perfect World International or they have updated and your custom offsets.ini is out of, out of date. First we're going to take a look at the actual GUI. Up here we have a start and stop button, bot status, this is the current action that the bot is doing your name, your level, class, strength, dex, vitality, magic, spirit, x, y, and z, hit points, mana points, and experience. Down here we have target info, its name, its level, how far you are away from it, if it has any specials they will show up here, just like this. Now you have anti KS, that stands for anti kill steal. Then you have hunt by name. Notice how the client is now frozen? Look at what this does. This is unfreeze. This unfreezes the client, makes it much better for botting. Over here we have target radius. We'll get into that later. This concludes video number one. Thank you for watching the ProfitBot Recoded video tutorials. Welcome back to the ProfitBot Recoded video tutorial. Now we're going to go into a little bit more in depth of the bot and set it up exactly how your character would be set up. We're going to go into options here and go into skills. If you want to add more skills, you just click add. For now, I'm just using this one. We're going to leave that as F2 and save. Then we're going to go into life support. I've already got life support set up. This is restore HP your percentage of where you would like to restore at this is restore MP the percentage of where you would like to restore at and the key to restore F8 as in down here now we have auto loot if you'd like to loot the creature's corpse select your auto loot key turn this on and now for every four times it loots it is one second so if you want to loot for 3 seconds, we're going to have 12. This is your auto pot for your hit points, auto pot for your mana points. This is functions off the same exact setup as on the restore. You have a certain certain amount percentage wise that you would like to res restore at or hit the pot at. And here are the keys you press to do it. This is your right delay. Your right delay is the delay that is in between clicking on your radar to run and writing to the memory. And that's all depending on computer, sk computer speed. If you have a really fast computer, you can do it in as little as 50 milliseconds. If you have a slower computer, like right now, I'm recording, it takes about 125 to 150 sometimes even 200 so I'm going to go ahead and click save that will save all those settings now we're going to go into target list this is where you set up all of your targets to set your target list you click on options and click set mob list then you go back in game you notice up over here it tells you now go back in game and it says select the monster you want to fight and then press 11 we can do this up to a hundred times. So we're going to select the uh, Elder Goth Underling. Alright, see how that added down there? 
Let's see if there's any other creatures around here that we can hunt. And we got a waspy ursog captain. That's good enough for now. We'll go ahead and leave that. Alright, that's everything for video number two. We'll go ahead and see you in the next video. Welcome back to the ProfitBot Recoded video setup tutorial. And this is part number three. We're going to go ahead and do what is specific to the Venomancer, and that is options and pet support. Now, you have the option to auto heal your pet, and your pet can attack first. You're going to select which pet slot your pet has been withdrawn from. HP to heal at. And ours is currently at 434. We'll raise this up to 350. The heal key is just the number 1. And the feed key is number 3. So we're going to go ahead and save this. Now there are a few things we didn't go over in here, but that's just because I'm I don't have any of them on this character. We got buffs. You can add buffs just like you add skills. You can click use auto buffs and it will start to use the bu use these buffs. You have fly to escape. When you click this you can select what key you want to fly to escape. Say you had on F4 and you had your wings. And check damage. It would be exactly how much damage you received during a battle. So if you don't want to receive more than a thousand damage during each battle, you'll fly away. So say you get 800 in each fight and you set it to a thousand and two monsters get on you and you get 1100 hit points taken away from you it will fly away the fly to Z is exactly that the Z X Y Z so I suggest adding 15 to 20 on that and that will get you out of there to a safe enough height but you gotta make sure to watch out for overhead baddies because that's not good then you have rotate weapons you can add up to four weapons that you rotate through you just have to keep them in one of these boxes and it's assign a shortcut key to just like everything else once you get everything set up should be able to just get the bot going but before I do that I have to show you guys if you do have a Venomancer in order to get your pet to attack first you have to press K scroll all the way down to pet attack and change it to zero once you do that you can go into the options menu pet support and click pet attack first let's go ahead and show you that That's probably because I didn't have my right delay high enough. Let's go ahead and reset that back to 150. Like I said, I'm recording.
You just need to keep adding to it. I go in sections of 25. And that is how you set up a Venomancer on profit by Hope to see you in the next videos.